Oh, I didn't see you there. Apologies. I'm Richard Hammer, and good evening, everyone. Tonight we'll be discussing a riveting topic. It'll be over an event critical to the history of the American Revolution. I am, of course, talking about the Boston Tea Party, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let us first look to how it all began. At the conclusion of the French-Indian War, the British and the colonists sparked conflict between themselves as the British felt they were owed a massive debt. I don't want to be that guy, man, but I mean, we did just kind of fight that war. You should let us into your house. Um, yeah, a war we didn't even want. March 5th. 1770, five colonists shot in the streets of Boston by British troops. This would later be go on to be known as the Boston Massacre. It was terrible. The British troops just came in and just shot into the crowd. At least five of us had to be dead by that point. And it just got worse after that. Tensions between the colonies and Great Britain just escalated like no tomorrow. Next thing we knew, they were taxing our stamps, they were taxing our spices, the town shed acts had come out. Around 1773, we had eventually had it, and John Adams had come up with the Sons of Liberty. Uh, it was just, tea was on the rise like no tomorrow. Prices were getting just so insane. 14 cents for tea? What does this world come to? This is outrageous! A famous American and separatist supporter, Jonathan Adams, organized a small party to rebel. A party that would be called the Sons of Liberty. My brothers, for too long we have been bullied under Parliament and seen as second-class citizens. As an act of rebellion for this infamous tea act, I suggest we dress as natives and throw all of their tea into the harbor. John Adams was a phenomenal speaker. I remember that meeting like it was yesterday, December 16th, 1773. He told us for too long we had been bullied by the British. We had no respect in the colonies. And that's when he came up for the idea. We'd go to the Boston Harbor dressed as the natives, and we'd just throw all the tea in there. British never saw it coming. No, no, you gotta lift with your legs. This ultimately led to conflict and tensions between the colonies and Great Britain. War would eventually arise between these two powers, known as the War for American Independence here in the United States. But I'm afraid that's all we have to talk about today, and we are out of time. Thank you! And we'll see you next time where we discuss the intricacies of the Loch Ness Monster.